Hello, everybody, and welcome to this video, where today we're going to go over a really fun exercise you could do to help better your poetry. Look at me doing stuff that, like, should better you. Hello? Hello? So the thing I'm going to talk about is something I did yesterday kind of on accident. I'll tell you the whole story. But this is probably something that I didn't invent. Like, guaranteed I didn't invent this. But, like, I'm sure you guys have probably already done this yourselves. Like, this isn't, like, breaking the mold or anything. But even if it's something that you used to do in the past and you haven't done it in a long time, this might be fun to do just for fun, okay? So basically, let me let me put on my spectacles, yeah. Jesus Christ. Look, oh, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Oh my God, okay. So anyway, so this is how we're gonna do this, okay? Yesterday I was at the beach, okay? Getting some sun, listening to the waves. It was really, really nice. And I was gonna write something and I couldn't come up with, I mean, I knew what I wanted to write about because I was at the beach and I love writing about the beach when I'm at the beach. But I was like looking at it and I'm like, this is the same beach. I'm in a different part, but it's like, I'm gonna write about the same thing and feel the same way. Like there's gotta be a different way to look at this. And so I sat there for a little bit and then I had a book of poems with me and I'm like, well, let me read a poem and maybe I will get inspired. So the book I had with me was You Get So Alone at Times It Just Makes Sense by Charles Bukowski because this is the Bukowski Book Club book that we've been trying to read for seven months and I've been dragging my feet on because I've read it so many times and life and blah, blah, blah. I open it up and I read the first poem, which is funny because it's like, seriously, I don't really like this poem at all. There's like one line in it I dig, but the poem itself I'm not really that interested in. It's called 1813 to 1883, okay? It's on page 13. It's the first poem in the book. Listening to Wagner as outside in the dark, the wind blows a cold rain, the trees wave and shake, lights go off and on, the walls creak and the cats run under the bed. Wagner battles the agonies. He's emotional, but solid. He's the supreme fighter, a giant in a world of pygmies. He takes it straight on through. He breaks barriers and an astonishing force of sound as everything here shakes, shivers, bends, blasts, in fierce gamble. Yes, Wagner and the storms intermix with the wine as the nights like this run up my wrist and up into my head and back down into the gut. Some men never die and some men never live, but we're all alive tonight. Okay, so that's the poem. And I like this, some men never die, some men never live line, whatever. So I was like looking at this and I'm like, okay, so I don't love this poem, but what can I learn from this poem? Like, I don't like dig what it's saying. I understand the point, you know, sure. But let me look at the lines. Let me plagiarize the fuck out of this. Yeah, maybe we should just call this that. We're, we're plagiarizing poetry now, okay? Um, I'm like looking at it. I'm like, what like metaphors are used? How long are these lines? Like, is there anything here at the beach that I could take these lines and interchange stuff out and just see what it says and then see if that can take me somewhere to where I could start writing a poem, okay? So let's look. Oh, here we go. Yeah, so this is what I wrote based off of that. So you, you are going to hear some of the same words. I don't know how many, though. I don't remember how many I did. Listening to the ocean as the waves crash violently and the blue water turns white and the white water turns a sickly brown, sticky foam scum. Sand crabs try to run back into the water and into the dirt before the seagulls come and eat them up. The ocean battles the tide. I think 
I wanted to say shore, but I wrote tide. I, I have no idea. Maybe I meant the tide fights the shore, but I wrote ocean. So whatever. But I remember when I was writing this, I'm like, I'm just going to stick with this and see how it goes. The ocean battles the tide. It's an emotional give and take. It never ends. The ocean is tougher than the tide, but I don't know if the ocean knows how big it really is. I don't know if the ocean knows that the majority of this planet is that is that is what it is. I don't know if it, the ocean knows the majority of planet is what it is. Okay. I don't know if the ocean knows how strong of a damn force it is on this stupid fucking planet. Every fucking thing here on this world comes and goes because of the sea. Emotions change. Menstrual cycles change. The moon changes. Well, not because of the ocean, but you know what I mean. Sometimes tides never come all the way up, and other times they don't go out far enough. There's always someone who's going to bitch and complain that one wasn't as far as it should have been, and that's how it goes. There's always somebody to draw the evil and awful and shit out of anything, beautiful and pleasant and amazing and astonishing, that could ever, ever fucking happen. So even though sometimes... Oh, wait totally skipped a line okay i'm gonna have to go back and figure this out there's always someone to draw the evil and awful and shit out of anything beautiful and pleasant and amazing and astonishing that could ever ever happen so even though sometimes it's just somewhere in the middle that doesn't make any sense i know what i was trying to say there but that was ugly and messy so i don't know but again this was voice to text I was voice to texting as I was pontificating on the shore. I was pontificating on the shore. Okay. But yeah, so that's what I did. And like at the beginning there, like I, what was the first line of this Wagner poem? Um, listening to Wagner as outside in the dark, the wind blows a cold rain. Listening to the ocean as waves crash violently and the blue water turns white and the white water turns to a sickly brown, sticky foam scum. So, listening to Wagner as outside in the dark, the wind blows a cold rain, the trees wave and shake and lights go off and on and walls creak and cats run under the bed. So... And I did the whole, like, crabs try to run back into the water and into the dirt before the seagulls come and eat them up. So, like, do you see what I'm saying? Like, take something, understand the emotion that it's trying to evoke, look at your surroundings, and then try to do that same thing. And as much as you try to plagiarize that, it's not going to be plagiarism because like as long as you're not using the exact same words in the exact same order in the exact same lines, this is how you do it. This is how you steal like a fucking artist. You know, you get taught by the greats until you are their master. Do you see what I'm saying? Does that make sense to you guys? Okay, cool. So let me know how this goes down below. And if you want to be ballsy and say like, this is the poem that I took and this is what I wrote, fucking do that. Let's see that shit, okay? And if you're digging this shit, um, join the crew. And we do writing streams every Tuesday and morning live streams every day, Monday through Friday. So quickly, this month only, November, it's almost over. On the beach, I have three copies left, okay? And then these are gone, okay? So if you want these, you gotta let me know. Anxious Anxiety, I have... I don't know, there's probably like eight copies of these left. Um, and then I have the end of everything. The first run um, out of 125, there's probably, I don't know how many I have. Oh, there's five. There's probably about 10 of these left. And then I have Winner Your Mom's Sodomy Prize for Poetry. I have more of those than anything, but I don't have any of them right here. But all of these are for sale. But the chapbooks, once November's over, these are going in the vault. If I don't sell them all, you won't get to see them. They're gone. Vamos. Until it's ready for them to come out again. Okay? Um, get my new book. 
I'll put it here or here. Confessions of a Man Whose Everything Exploded. It's a pretty lengthy book. It's all um, new poems that I haven't put out that were all written this year. Um, take a look at that and then get the other books too. Oh, let me ask you guys this. If you have read any of the books that I have up on Amazon and you haven't reviewed it yet, please, it would, I would love it so much if you could take just a few minutes out of your day and leave um, a review for any of the books. Preferably five stars and that they're fucking amazing. You know, whatever. But um, there's that. And then I want to know if you guys are interested in this. I've been thinking about doing like a full-fledged newsletter. Like a really, really like newsletter newsletter. Where um, I write like an article or a piece specifically for it every week. Um, throw a poem in there. And then throw a bunch of other shit in there that I like. Like if I'm reading somebody, like um, if it's like a Chasey Delaney poem, I'll put a Chasey Delaney poem in there. If it's, um, I don't know, something Bunny wrote or something Shaylin wrote or something Jeff wrote or something Adam wrote, like whatever, like a story that Mindy wrote and just drop it in there. And then like some cool shit that I got this week, what music I'm listening to this week, what paintings I'm working on. Just stuff like that. If that is something that you think you would like be interested in and wanting from me and you guys could all tell me to do it, I will do that. I've been really like into it. Like I think, what is that? What the fuck is happening? Are there ghosts in here? Because I keep seeing shit on camera, but then I look here and I don't see anything. What is that? Anyway. Let me know down below if you guys want to do that. Um, Bukowski Book Club, it's coming. Like the first bit about that. Um, and I guess that's it. So, uh, type part, everybody. Join the crew. And I will talk to you all later.